Do you ever feel overwhelmed? Not by anything in particular, but just life. The journey of life can be daunting between working to pay the bills, growing your relationships to keep your family afloat. And then, where does that leave time for yourself and your personal health? Welcome to the I Killed My Own Killer book series and podcast, where we are all about juggling and managing all of your responsibilities to be by your side in growing through it all. This brand is here to help you achieve your goals, whether they are personal and emotional goals you set for yourself, business goals you want to hit in your career, or physical and nutritional goals you want to accomplish to be a healthier version of yourself. Whatever your goals are, stay tuned for tips and tricks to make accomplishing them easier for you. Each episode will help you significantly improve in one aspect of your life or another. Okay, listen up. If you are looking to leave your job this year, whether you are a waitress, waiter at a restaurant, you are an accountant or a secretary at some office, no matter what your job is that you're trying to leave and pursue your passion in business full time, this is the episode for you. Here's why. One of my clients, Star is her name. I worked with her for only a few months and she was able to leave her waitressing job at First Watch and pursue her own business of having a charcuterie board business in a matter of weeks okay now she is making quadruple what she was making at a waitress and she gets to do it with her daughter so she's got financial freedom and she's got time freedom to spend it with the ones that she loves so listen to this amazing interview that I do with her so you can see the kind of emotions that you have to have to leave your job and go to full-time entrepreneur just to see the kind of mindset the heart the motivation that you are going to need to have and stick around to the end if you want a freebie valued at a thousand dollars it's just a one-on-one counseling session where I coach you on how to make your dream business a reality. I don't care if that dream business is drinking water, teaching other people how to breathe, making a cheese business, or whatever it is. I will walk you through step-by-step how you can make thousands of dollars a month doing that passion. If you stick around to the very end, you'll get that freebie. Hey everybody, it's Caitlin with the I Kill My Own Killer book series and podcast, and I'm so excited to have a special guest with me, but I'm not going to take away any of her shine. I will let her introduce herself. Hi, my name is Star. I'm the owner of Grey's and Plate, an Orlando-based um, charcuterie business, um, and I'm so happy to be on your show today. <laughs> cool deal. She very humbly introduced herself because whenever I first met Star, she was working at first watch um she was a waitress there an amazing server and she had been there for a while she's an amazing mother she's in a relationship so she wears many 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 hats and she was able to work her way out of being a waitress to owning her own charcuterie board business and just it has to be less than a year because i've known her for less than a year Um, I worked with her as a personal client of mine and just kind of coached her throughout that process because trust me, we all need a coach. We all need somebody encouraging us to get out of our comfort zone or what we've been doing for a while. So it's been an honor just to watch her transition, leaving that income that was consistent at her job to embarking on full-time owning her business. So while you were in transition, what did that feel like? Honestly, it was really overwhelming and scary. Like I remember telling you guys, I was like, I like don't know how I'm going to do it, but I knew I just had to make it happen. And you kind of just have to jump in and put that pressure on yourself Mm -hmm. to really get the ball rolling. Because if you stay in your comfort zone, you don't really get anywhere like that. So yeah, it was, it was really tough in the beginning, but it definitely was worth every single step. Wow. That's inspiring. And as you were explaining that, I kind of got a visualization of somebody trying to jump in the pool. Like you can't just dip your toe in. You can't just put your leg in halfway. You either have to commit to it and jump in the water (laughs) or you're never going to do it because it's never really going to be comfortable. Was it convenient for you to just leave your job and then work on your business? It was not. (laughs) Of course, (laughs) having that steady income is always a plus. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's just like, like I said, just something that's so comfortable. You know that money is coming. You know, you just get up and show up. But I wanted to have more time with my daughter and my family also. So that was something that was really important to me and really influenced the choice that I made. So I think it was just all worth it. It all comes full circle because now my business is just taken off to what I can't even imagine. This month already, I made more than I did in the month of December. What? 
<laughs> yes. So like I've just it's taken off to so something that I never could have imagined. Oh my goodness. Wow, well congratulations. And do you think that's more than you could have made at first watch? Oh yes. No no <laughs> amount of tips you could have added to that? <laughs> no. No way. Unless I was working like seven days a week and double shifts that don't even exist there. Mm -hmm. But like you said, it's the time. The time that you get to spend with your daughter. Exactly. The control over your time because you get to say whenever you want to work. You don't have to show up whenever your boss says you have to show up. Mm -hmm. So I love that time, money, your daughter. That was all your motivation and that was really your why. Yes, exactly. So I would encourage anybody out there, if you have children and you really want to have time with your children, let that be your why, just like she did for her daughter, Luna. And it's cool because they get to do business together. I'm sure she gets to watch you make charcuterie boards. Yes, all the time. My next question for you is, did you always know that you wanted to be a business owner or be an entrepreneur or did something ignite that fire in you? Um, I feel like I did always know that I wanted to be a business owner. I always did little things like I babysat from when I was 10 years old and then um, I was a social media marketing manager like when I was a teenager. So I always did things where I worked for myself, made my own money, kind cool. of was able to put a price tag on myself. Nice. Um, and then I feel like as I transitioned into like college was when I was like, okay, maybe I'll pick up like serving. And mm -hmm. then I kind of got stuck in that cycle. And I think that's kind of how it happens. You okay. get started, you get a little bit comfortable. You end up just staying stuck in like a cycle like that. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I know this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life. So I just had to, you know, finally cut it. And yeah. I had a vision also for my business. So it wasn't like I just came out of nowhere and just quit my job and didn't really know what I was doing, running like a chicken without a head. <laughs> but I had a vision and I kind of just gravitated toward it, did anything that I could to make sure that I like wouldn't reach that. Point. I see. So you were working your job while still doing the charcuterie board business on the side. And then it was then when you realized, hey, I could do this full time. So yes. you didn't just leave your job full turkey yeah, and, exactly. and then you try to know. figure out something. I gotcha. But I started little by little, kind of learned if that was even what I wanted to do. Did mm -hmm. I really like this? Did I really have a passion for it? So it kind of was able to, you know, let me nice. really learn and explore. And then when I realized, I was like, I love this. This is what I want to continue to do forever. And that's when I felt like I was ready to just let go. I see, because you realized you loved it, there was a market for it, exactly. and uh, people were buying it, so you could create a business out of it, and it exploded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what made you get into making cheese boards, like charcuterie boards? How did you even get started with so, that? So, I started doing cheese boards just for like friends and family for like parties I would host at my house and then when I would go to people's houses I started making them but I feel like the original like idea of cheeses is I was on a balcony in Barcelona actually at wow. like a cheese and it was like a cheese restaurant I guess okay. I would say and I remember like overlooking like all of the city and I was like I want on a place like this that like has cheese like little cheese boards and things because I love cheese like mm -hmm. ever since I was younger I just love cheese so I was like I love this I wish that I could you know start something like this when Orlando so that idea kind of came to life seven years later but better better late than absolutely ever. So just kind of living it and seeing everything and at one of my workshops I had a lady that told me she was like this reminds me of being in Spain and Barcelona and I was like oh my god like you got wow. my vision you captured like what I felt when I built the business so, how beautiful yeah so there's powerful things I just was picking up from what you were putting down and number one never lose sight of your vision and like you went to Barcelona you had that dream of just owning your own business similar to that and time went by and then it came to fruition no matter how much time went by and then sometimes it's like the simple things a cheese board like yes you make thousands of dollars a month from freaking cheese like <laughs> It's almost funny. I have a mentor and he says they don't think that there's any skill set, product, or service that you can't make money from. If you think about it, like, can we make money from interviewing people? Oprah Winfrey, she does it. Yes. If you think you can't make money from a cleaning business, there are plenty of businesses out there that make money from small services like that. Um, my first business was a swimming business, like teaching people how to swim. So no matter if it's cheese, swimming, the air we breathe, water, interviewing people, the words you speak, you can make money from it. You just yes. have to catch the vision and exactly. put one foot in front of the other. It, exactly. One step at a time. Just keep pushing towards your vision. Don't let it go no matter how hard it gets. Wow. Were there any family members or close friends to you who were opposed to your vision and your dream? Uh, I feel like a lot of my friends and family at first were kind of like, are you sure you want to, you know, do that? Especially having a family, like especially also leaving a first watch. They're like, are you sure that that's like the step you want to take? Mm -hmm. um, but I knew that I had the drive and like the fire inside and I couldn't like, you know, not act on that. Yeah. And I knew that I was going to end up making it work one way wow. or another. So the belief in yourself was there. Yeah. That's I knew huge. that I just... 
I knew that I had it in me and I knew that it would be worth it in the end just to keep pushing through and working on my business. Yeah, I mean, not too long. I mean, I quit first watch. September 15th was my last day. Wow. There we are. Yep, a whole, almost so two three quarters later. Yeah, yeah. Three, four months. Wow. Later, so. Okay, so a quarter later. Yeah. But you're flourishing so much now that I forget. Like, you once were working at First Watch. Yeah, <laughs> I forget sometimes too. I'm like, I can't believe it was so, like, recent because it feels like a lifetime ago. Like, it does. That's what I was doing. Well, thank you for sharing that. You had a few friends and family members who were scared for you to leave your job because you're a mom and you have these yeah. responsibilities. Mm -hmm. But, like, our family and friends, they love us and they mean well but they don't see the vision that we sometimes exactly, have yes, and the motivation sure. like you said you had your friends and family they just didn't see that drive but you did so that's why you embarked and you did it um lastly i just want to know what is the biggest thing that you would tell somebody who wants to leave their job and pursue their own business just find your passion and go toward it just go full drive toward what you love work hard you will end up figuring it out sometimes the puzzle pieces don't seem like they're going to fit together mm -hmm. but one day they all just kind of come together you just have to be able to put one foot in front of the other that's, that's so what i tell myself every day just one foot in front of the other if i get you know just do one thing toward my business and it's going to keep helping it grow so. that's so good and very beautifully said one foot in front of the other <laughs> and the puzzle pieces will all come together well star thank you so much for taking the time to be on this episode of the podcast for all the entrepreneurs out there looking to quit their job in 2023 and make their business a full-time reality just like she did so please check out grays and plates on Instagram. I'll put it in the description. And we hope to see a testimony of you and your journey from the last day you left your job to wherever you want to go because you can do it just like she shows you you could. Thanks for watching. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the interview with Star. She was amazing. Her daughter waited right here while we interviewed one another. So here's your freebie. If you want a coaching session with me where we go over the business goals, the idea that you have in your head that you want to make a reality, all you have to do is DM me the words dream 2023 and I will pick up what you are putting down and I will schedule a one-on-one -on -one counseling session with you so we can make your dreams a reality. Let's go. 2023 is your year. Wow. How about that episode? I know you are motivated to kick your butt into gear and become a better version of yourself from this experience of the I Killed My Own Killer book series and podcast. The crazy title of this podcast comes from the original personal development book series. Each book will transform you even more than listening to this podcast. Each book takes a deeper dive into how you can better yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, and even spiritually. Continue your journey of personal growth by being a part of the amazing personal growth book series that is written in a fun, fiction way with in-depth journals concluding each chapter. What are you waiting for? Go order your book at www.kfoxworth.com and join the Facebook community in the private Facebook group named I Killed My Own Killer Book Series and Podcast. You don't want to miss out on the full trifecta experience, including the books, the podcast, and the mastermind community in Facebook groups. Keep your personal growth burning desire on fire and be part of it all. It all starts here. So thanks for listening to the podcast and stick around for more great episodes to keep you growing in all areas of life. You are killing it.